this is it. North Carolina's capital. Um, the biggest demarcation is that there's a missing um, statue and platform foundation. Um, something's been bothering me, and that is that is that um, in this um, new Black Lives Matter era movement, um, it's I grew up, I tell you the truth. Not grew up, uh, about 18 years of age. Came a part of a um, an African American church, a black church, in New York City. And then what ended up happening is this is that um, while I was part of that church, there was a lot of civil rights stuff. And also even when I went to college years, 1987, 85, uh, we lobbied, dude. We protested, we lobbied legislators, that's what we did. We didn't do this whole breaking stuff and tearing stuff apart and um, I know there's a legal way to ask for removals of statues and and a legal way of protesting but there's also just destroying stuff and in my era um, my time we we did we got on up on the buses we went to Washington we lobbied and protested and whatever. And this is a new new day because, as you see, statues are missing, things were destroyed. And it's just bothersome, you know, because um, I know what the, <clears throat> the youth say often is that, well, we just can't wait anymore. Well, um, that's fine. If you um, can't wait, I mean... But you need to know there is a better way. Um, you talking about I've seen Herbert Daltrey on 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 TV advocating say, look, he said one thing: uh, we never broke stuff, we never burnt stuff, we never did that. So it's like we young, hot-headed kids. Um, we'll break stuff. We'll do stuff that don't necessarily mean that it's right. I mean, I mean, it's like when the whites burned down cities um, at racism. That was wrong. But if the blacks do it, then that's wrong too. And let's say next next 10 years, the Mexican-American statues there or Filipino statues there, and you disagree with that, you know, protest and destroy that too and run amok to make the city look like a third world country. This is the state capital of North Carolina, dude, and unfortunately, you know, if you moved here, you know that you move into a Confederate state, and Confederate state means that there's going to be some stuff in honor of the Confederates, um, but does that mean you decide to burn, and a lot of kids might say, well, I didn't come here by choice, so um, I went ahead and, uh, went ahead and, uh, was transplanted here against my wishes or um, as part of, you know, I was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, and so um, that's my heritage, but, um, you know, however that you got here, nothing ever justifies, you can't recompense destruction with destruction. That's all I'm saying, is that violence for violence doesn't work, um, and I'm here recording this today because I, it just bothered me. Um, we don't have no gates around the perimeter. There was gates here. There was police like crazy. The governor's mansion was, was guarded heavily with all different types of officers. I can imagine all the overtime expenditures on officers and so forth, but it's just, I don't know. And I'm sorry, but the other side to that is the governor never went outside to meet. If people outside your house uh, want to talk to you and you don't go outside to meet them, then you add into the problem. So you don't meet them at that level. And that's the problem is that you have politicians who just don't know how to um, engage the people um, all the way up to the top. Of course, you know, leadership of this country. Um, so, I mean, my whole big thing is this, is that 
Um, I have a problem, um, just a side note, um, I have a problem because um, the island of Puerto Rico, many people are dying right now. Many people are, are, are starving and don't have basic necessities. And um, during the last storm where over 5,000 people died, there hasn't been a rebuilding or an effort to rebuild. And the federal government um, here says we're okay with that. We're actually trying to sell Puerto Rico anyway. We don't want it, which is ironic because when this country has fought for Cuba so that they didn't have some enemy in the backyard, now they want to sell Puerto Rico for Greenland or to make some money, just give it away because they don't want a Hispanic state. So your intentions are clear and your actions are clear. Um, death is death. And when over 5,000 of my countrymen are, have died, and thousands more are right now suffering. This is September 2020. It's unacceptable. And I typically I tend to not take fierce stance on political matters, but this is one where I actually have to vote my conscience. Take care. Have a nice day.